you know, we want to go based on statistics. So we should be able to give patients, you know, yes, these are the odds that you will benefit from whatever treatment we're going to offer. Some ladies say if that benefit is as minute as it could be, that if there's a benefit there, that that's the treatment they want. I have lots, and I would say lots of ladies feel that way. I have other ladies that say unless it's a compelling, statistically significant benefit um, to where they would be making a wrong decision not to have that treatment, then, then they don't want that treatment. It, it all depends on the perception and, and the, the personal feelings of the lady that is forced to make those decisions. A lot of times, yes, we as doctors can say, we absolutely recommend this or we absolutely don't recommend this, but there are some situations that are more than we would like where there are information that suggests going both ways. Some papers would, you know, publications would say, yes, this is beneficial to this patient population. Others would say, maybe not so much. You know, so in that case where there's a little bit of controversy, it involves a lot of discussion with the doctor and the patient. And at the end of the day, oftentimes the patient's feeling in terms of what is the risk, what is the benefit, and how they feel about that and going through the treatment. Because sometimes there is what's called the gray zone. Um, where that's a dialogue between the doctor and the patient because there really truly isn't a right or wrong decision. It's a matter of um, how the patient feels about the various risks and benefits.